Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create the perfect cutout in Photoshop 2020 by using the object selection and quick selection tool. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Now in this tutorial guys I'm going to show you how you can use the object selection and quick selection tool to create a perfect cutout in Photoshop 2020. To cut out absolutely anything and to create an absolute perfect effect. Now if you want to have a look at any of the pre-selected photos that I find really work well with this effect so you can follow along with the same photo that I'm going to be using to create this effect then go ahead to the link in the description and you can download it from there. But without further ado guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is choose a photo. Now if you would like to use the same photo that I'm going to be using in this tutorial today, then just make sure to go to the link in the description and you can download it from there. But once you've chosen, we're going to head over to Photoshop and we're going to load it up. And as you can see, I've already got it preloaded. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the girl and the plant and replace the background. So we need to create a perfect cutout of all around where the hair is and also where the plant and where all the leaves are. And if we were going to use uh, the pen tool, for instance, this would take ages and it just wouldn't end up looking realistic. So today I'm going to show you a quick way, but also a way of creating a really perfect effect. And we're going to be using the quick selection and the brand new tool in Photoshop 2020, the object selection. Now I'm going to show you where we can find these tools. So what we want to do is head over to the left hand side. And as you can see, we've got our tools panel. Now third one down, as you can see, this one here is called Quick Selection, or it's W on your keyboard. So if we click and hold, as you can see, we've got three tools here. We've got the Object Selection, the Quick Selection, and the Magic Wand. Now, all of these are a way of selecting certain areas of the photo. So if we use the Magic Wand, what it will do is it will select using the type of colour that you've chosen or that you've clicked on. So we've got our tolerance at our section here, and then we've also got our sample size. So if we click, as you can see, what it will do is it will just create a selection of the amount of color within that tolerance. The higher the tolerance, the more color it will select. The second one down, so if we click and hold, we've got our quick selection. Now quick selection tool is very similar to the brush tool. I've covered this in a previous video. And what you just need to do is click and hold and the computer will find edges for you to select and it works really nice and it will be the tool that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, and then the last tool or the very first tool at the top section here is the object selection and this is brand new to Photoshop 2020 and if what we all need to do is click and drag and as you can see it creates this box and then when you release what it will do is uh, Photoshop will work out edges for you and as you can see it's worked really nicely just around where the girl is. But as you can see, it's missed the plan. So today we're going to be using the object selection and quick selection tool to create this object. So what we're going to do first is we're going to be using the object selection tool. So again, guys, it's W on your keyboard and we want to select the first one here. And again, guys, we want to do very similar to what we've just done. So we're going to uh, click and drag over the entire photo area that we want to select. So the plant and the girl and let, let uh, Photoshop do its magic. And as you can see, it's selected almost everything, but we're going to need to select the plant because as you can see, we're missing most of the leaves. So instead of using the object selection tool again, we're going to move over, hold and click, and then we're going to move over to quick selection. And we're just going to paint in the areas that Photoshop missed. So we just want to do all the leaves here. Lovely. Just get the last of the leaves here. 
Perfect. And once you think you've got everything, what you want to do is head over up to the very top where it says select a mask. And all we need to do is click. And once you've clicked, what it will do is it will mask off any of the areas with a particular color. And the way you can choose the color is up in the top right hand here where the properties panel is. So you can choose the opacity of the color and you can also choose the color itself. So I've chosen a nice bright red because it's easily um, distinguishable from the color of the foreground. And you can also change the opacity. Now I have the opacity at 50% so you can semi see what you're removing. So once we've uh, looked at this uh, photo, as you can see, it has not created a very realistic cutout. So we really need to work on creating this cutout to make it look a lot more professional. And the way we can do this is by looking at some of the tools on the left hand side. So the first tool we've got is the quick selection tool, which is the tool that we've been using. But the tool below it and the tool that we're going to be using to uh, refine this is the refined edge brush tool. So make sure we've got that selected. And as you can see, it comes up very similar to the brush tool. So what we want to do is zoom in to the area that you want selected. So we're at this section here. And all we need to do is just refine the edge. So we're going to click and drag. And as you can see, Photoshop will re-look at this selection, re-look at the area, and it will start to refine the edge. And it works really well with hair and complicated objects. So as you can see, we're moving around the edge of the hair here, and it's working really nicely. So we're going to move down here. We're going to select this bit of the hair. And this tool is realistically the only tool that was, would be able to do this. Because if you were going to use the pen tool or the lasso tool or any other selection tool, it wouldn't be able to create this much detail. Or you know, you'd be there for hours and hours after this effect. So we just need to go over any areas that you want to re or Photoshop to have a look at again, just so you can re start getting a realistic uh, look. So if you feel that it's uh, like, for instance, this section here, it's missing all this area. So we can just click and drag. And as you can see, Photoshop's really looking at it, understanding that it's the background that we want to remove and it will start to uh, remove it for us. And it works with all these small little, uh, little bits here just to hover over there and click away and as you can see it's starting to turn to red which is the sections that we want to remove so we want to try and do 90% of all the work is at this stage so quick selection tool is just going to have a look at the areas in a quick way and then the refined edge tool is really starting to refine down all of the small little imperfections that the quick selection tool didn't able to select. And as you can see, it's really starting to work now. And the next step, we're going to be using the brush tool and the burn tool to create the perfect cutout. So this is step two out of three. Brilliant, so once you're happy, with all of the areas that you've quick selected and you've refined, what you want to do is just have a look over at the global refinements. So we've got smooth, which we probably want to leave at this stage because we're cutting out hair. We don't want a smooth cutout, we want a defined cutout. We probably want to add an ever so slight feather to this effect, just so it ends up looking realistic. So I'd probably say adding one or two pixel feather, which I've added a one pixel feather for this image. We probably want to leave contrast at 0% because we don't want too harsh of a contrast when we cut out. We want a nice defined edge and I would leave shift edge because that will either increase or decrease the amount that we've selected. But because we're happy with what we've got, we're going to leave this at 0%. And then with the output settings, I would probably go and select new layer with layer mask. So this will create a new layer and then a layer mask to that layer. So it won't end up, you can always add and remove to the layer mask afterwards. So once you're completely happy with the cutout, all we need to do is press OK. And as you can see, it has created a really good cutout. But there's a few more bits and pieces that we just want to refine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our object, um, our adjustment layers at the bottom right hand corner. We're going to click 
and we're just going to select solid color. We want to click, uh, uh, choose a color that is uh, complementary to the background, just so we can see uh, what bits that have messed up. So we're going to choose a nice bright, or I'm going to go for a nice kind of brown color. And we're just going to drop this below the cutout layer. And as you can see, there are a few mistakes that Photoshop has made when using the refined edge tool. So as you can see, go around here, we've got this kind of haloing kind of fringing effect that the refine edge tool has made and we want to remove this now there are two tools that you can remove you can use the brush tool and just paint onto the uh, layer mask to remove it or you can use the burn tool so if we go over to the left hand tool panel as you can see burn tool is just here we want to make sure our range is shadows we want to make sure our exposure is at 50%. And we want to make sure that we've got our layer mask selected. So the way to create the layer mask is holding down Alt and clicking on the layer mask and it will come up with the layer mask, the uh, actual layer mask itself. And what you want to do is paint onto the layer mask. Make sure we're not painting onto the photo itself. It's onto the layer mask. So when we do that, as you can see, it starts just to remove all of that fringing on the layer mask. So if we move round, go up, we just want to remove any kind of haloing fringing effect. We don't want to remove the detail. And this is why the burn tool is really good for this. So we go along here, just go along the edges and it will just remove all that fringing, which is perfect. And just have a look round. And now as you can see, the actual uh, the bush or the aloe vera plant is a little bit transparent and the way we can fix this is just by using the brush tool. So we're going to press B on our keyboard or you can go over to the left hand side tool panel. You want to make sure we've got white selected. So we're going to choose white uh, like so and we want a nice soft brush. So we're going to go for a brush like that and all you need to do is just paint in some of the areas. Just be careful, don't go over the edge you want to just make sure that you're just choosing within because Photoshop's done most of the work this bit shouldn't take too long just need to do the worst bits because it being a little bit transparent shouldn't necessarily be a problem at the edges because that's what it would look like in real life. Brilliant, I'm fairly happy with that. So what we need to do is just click back onto the main photo and as you can see, it's created this cutout and all of that fringing has disappeared, which is perfect. So now what we want to do is just replace the background. So I've chosen the background already so if I'm just going to delete that uh, coloured layer, as you can see we've got the background there. So we're just going to drop in the background. Lovely, so we just need to make it full size. Lovely, and press enter. And then what you really want to do is just increase the crop. So we're going to crop it out to about there. Lovely, and then I think we're probably just going to make it slightly larger. So press command T to increase it and we're going to do like that lovely and then i feel that it will need an ever so slight blur so the way we can blur it is by going to filter blur and then gaussian blur and we can blur the background ever so slightly and then what we can do is just double check that you're happy with the cutout just by zooming in just having a look around i am really happy with how this cutout has ended up looking and you can see the aloe vera plant looks perfect and uh, all of the edges are nice and sharp where they should be and it's selected the hair beautifully brilliant and there we go guys so that is how you can make a perfect cutout using the quick selection and refine edge tool in photoshop 2020 brilliant and there we go guys so that is how you can use the object selection and quick selection tool to create a perfect cutout in Photoshop 2020. Again guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification 
so you don't miss any of my future content. Also guys, if you want to have a look at the Teespring store, I've got a few hoodie and t-shirt designs. So if you want to support the channel and get some great t-shirt designs, then go ahead to the link in the description and you can have a look for yourself. But until next time guys, keep creating.